Okay, welcome back folks to the Wanneroo channel. So we're just going to do a quick little update video on the High Wild AR500 pistol target. So I've had a couple people ask me, hey, how did that target end up holding up? Now we're six months, uh, almost exactly six months down the road from first setting it up. Um, it's been hit with thousands of rounds. Um, 44 Magnum, 45 ACP, 9 millimeter, 32 ACP. 357 Magnum, uh, no issues. Um, it's been, it's been a trooper. Uh, just keep hammering it, keep shooting it. Um, the welds at the back, uh, they seem to be holding up pretty good. So nothing cracking there or anything like that. That all needs painted. So I'm about to hit this with a bunch of paint here. But uh, the stand itself, everything you can see, it's. It's been hammered pretty damn good, so just keeps uh, just keeps trucking. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, give this a good spray of Rust-Oleum and let it sit up, and then eventually I'm gonna take all this apart. I'm gonna spray paint all that, undo all the screws, and uh, just kind of get it um, set up for the winter. You can see the two by four. That's not a weather treated two by four, so it's been out in the in the uh, elements for six months. We've had a ton of rain this year, but also it's been shot up a bit, so that's going to get replaced. Um, but um, the only thing with it, it does give you the provision of putting a bolt right through there um, to help hold that wood in place. So probably next year I'll go ahead and do that. You can see it's kind of tilted a little bit forward, um, but it's not really a big deal. The stand itself, um, that's obviously been shot up with a lot of splatter. So we're gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up. And then I'm gonna hit that with several coats of um, enamel paint, some Rust-Oleum enamel. And, uh, you know, basically just kind of get it ready for winter um, probably I'll end up shooting it a bit more, but um, we're going to do probably a couple coats of paint on it and, and all that and, and just kind of get it ready to go because it'll probably be sitting here for a little bit over winter. And uh, usually I put them under um, cover too as well um, if I'm not using them in the winter time. So but anyways, yeah, we'll get them all painted up. But yeah, this it's just been, uh, it's run like a train on time. It's been good. So no issues with it. I've actually got another high wild target that I bought. It's over there on the RTV. I'm ready to put that one out. Um, so I went ahead and assembled that. I'm gonna do a video uh, on that. So we'll do a video on that one and we'll do a review on it. We'll, we'll hammer that target there on the back of the RTV. We'll hammer that one good and we'll see how that holds up. But this pistol target though, um, it's been a trooper. So, no complaints, very happy with it, um, you know, and uh, yeah, I'd buy another, no doubt about it. So, anyways, just wanted to give you all an update um, so you can, you know, kind of see the way things actually panned out, because people are still watching that video, and, um, you know, uh, I've had a couple people ask me about it, so here's the way it looks. So, going good, um, no complaints. High five all the way around, so all good. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. Um, I do have a link below if you want to purchase the targets through Amazon. Um, it does kick back a small little commission to the channel. And, um, you know, the more support we get from the viewers, uh, the more videos and reviews and stuff we can crank out. So um, definitely uh, your support is appreciated. Thank you. So you all have a good one.